Hey, so today we got two new updates. We got the Jujutsu Craft update and the My Piece update. Now we'll be doing these together in one video from now on. And this will be updated together by the creator into smaller updates. So we'll have enough to cover one video for both of them. Now I want to preface this with saying I am a bit sick currently, so I apologize if I sound a bit stuffy. But today we got some new techniques for Jujutsu Craft, some pretty cool physics updates, which you'll see. We got new character addition to the mind piece mod, but now let's get into the updates. Now, as like all the other of the videos I've done, I will follow Orkasan, the creator's video, and since that's in Japanese, I'm basically going to be transforming that into English in my own way. So always do support Orkasan on his own channel. But the first thing is a new technique is Kairi Etatori, which is Yuji's mom. Quick pause of video because I have a special announcement. And now, as requested by all of you, we finally have a Discord. The link will be in the description for the Discord. It will be used for just chatting, updates, playing games like they're streaming, stuff like that. So do join if you're interested. It's down in the description. Now, of course, in the whole series of Skyrim, we don't really know much about her, but we know that Kenjaku was basically her. And with that, we have her anti gravity system. So how this works is it makes an anti-gravity field around you. So oh yeah, we'll talk about this construction soon, but basically spawn in some things here, the snails, and you can see it does a lot of damage around. It has I think like a three block range. I don't think the domain expansion is anything. So yeah, we have Kenjago's domain since you know he was in her body. So nothing new with that, so a way you can also use this anti-gravity system is to block attacks. So let's just say we have Doug on here, we'll spawn him in a bit far and do this. We should be able, oh, okay, work out, hold on. Okay, so it's not letting me do it, but basically if there were like projectiles and stuff here, you could easily like remove them mitigate them see if we can find anyone around so i can't really replicate it so do look at orkson's video you want to see it but basically you can easily uh, like block attacks with that so that's like the first and only like big thing we have but now one one thing that i really really wanted was you know this i always wanted the big effects of jjk we destroy a lot of things and now as you can see Buildings and such are more destructible. So let's say we go as Sukuna. We have 20 fingers. So if we were to simply just attack, you can see it takes out a big chunk. Same with the knockback. So we were to charge our normal attack. Charge it up fully. You can see it took down literally half of the building here. That's just an attack. You can always go with, for example, a dismantle. So let's do a big dismantle here. So I have, you know, the divine flame. Basically, destruction has been upgraded. So in that case, if we spawn a Sakuna in, against a Mahoraga, we should be able to recreate some of the Shibuya. Let's see, put him here, put that in. See how it goes. Oh, they broke through the ground. Okay, well, they're going away. Oh, oh. Okay, let's let's do actually a gojo though we need a gojo why not okay you got a gojo and we'll spawn okay that's the wrong spooner that's fine is this the other spooner what is the same oh oh you see the effects oh my god Oh 
Oh, here they go. And there goes the all of the city. Just from the level of shrines. Oh my god. Oh my god, the whole city is dying. You can see the damage it actually all does now. This one's giant city is now just nothing. I'm gonna do a summon of an shrine here just for fun and see what damage I can do. Now there is also a lot of more dust. Well, you can see that is the extent of the destruction of the mod. It's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of, you know, these like environments being destruct, uh, being destructible, all that stuff. I'm a very, very big fan of when they do that in games. You know, it's also like those little pixel games that can destroy blocks and all that stuff. I think now the only way you can dodge Sukuna is if you go underground like this. You can see it doesn't, it wasn't affected by Sukuna. So when you see a Sukuna thing, you have to just go underground somewhere, hide somewhere, just like this dude. Because that's the only way you survive from uh, that domain expansion. Next up, we have this pistol here, which is my pistol. Now, there is no mine in the game yet, only her gun. You can fire it by holding down the shift and attacking, so, you know. You can do a barrage attack with it as well. It's pretty cool. Is he twerking? Oh my god, he is. Well, anyway. So yeah, that's the extent of that. Now, if we go to Yuji, we have a new ability, which is Divergent Fist. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is when he does like the two attacks in one. So, if we were to go up to someone like, let's say... So, let's say we have these dudes over here. Now, how the average fist works is... And to one shot them. Okay. Let's get a Sukuna out, why not? He can see he's getting hit twice. Where is he your barrier? You can see he gets hit once and twice. Okay, I'm doing a lot of things. Okay. Like one, two... So basically the way it works, it's the delayed attack from the anime itself. So the point of that is to trigger a secondary shockwave after... Okay, so trigger a secondary shockwave after it to catch your opponent off guard. This is a good thing for the PvP versions of, you know, whoever plays these mods. Because if you don't know, there's a lot of like PvP servers for this. And that would help when it comes to the guards and stuff, this kind of goes through it. But those things pretty much sum up what we have for the JJK mod. To recap, we got Kayori Iratadori, which is mom and her anti-gravity technique. We got more destructible terrains. As you can see, I mean, there was a city here at some point. We got Tsukuna's Malevolent Shrine reworked a small bit, so you can, like, escape from the ground. The range got increased. We got my pistol, but no my yet. And we got Yuji's Divergent Fist. That's basically all there is for this Scraft update. Like I said, this is all going to be small updates from now on, according to the creator, which will be updated along with the other mods. So JJK and One Piece mods update, updated together into one thing. That's why I'll have one video on this stuff too. If that makes sense. Also want to remind you to look at the Discord if you want to like have more communication and just chill out, you know. So now let's get into the Mind Piece update. Now in Mind Piece here, We've only got one big thing, apart from like some tweaks, which didn't mention what it was. But since Orc is a big fan of Perona, now we have actually Perona in game. You see the model here. Now let's eat the fruit so show off the abilities. So first of all, you can fly while you're Perona. So let's just run away for a bit here and go into survival. You can see as Perona, I can like fly a bit. Pretty like simple flying. It does go towards your camera, so not exactly like you press A or D. It switches around the point of your camera, similar to like I guess a Fortnite car. I don't know how it turns. If that makes sense. It's also like not 100% like straightforward. 
it does like go to left or right you can see on its own or apart from that we have some new Delfu skills first we have the negative hollow which we all know what it is same thing from last time but now we have the ghost trap so you hold z and when you release it they explode so it's kind of like a bomb with this ghost trap and for this for the ghost trap these ghosts cannot be killed so the person who you're fighting would have to run away the third skill is kamikaze trap or kamikaze wrap this summons a giant ghost who explodes when you release z as well which has yep there you go which has a lot of ex you know explosion power let's see yeah, I, I mean, we're testing it in Kaido because it's not going to be effect because it's Kaido, but... Then see, it follows your mouse around. So if, let's say we get a bunch of marines here. Let's go away and this Kaido will attack us. Check me. Boom. She's instantly dead. Plus I'm at like a low level right now. Here's the, yeah, here's the damage you can do. It does pretty good damage to uh, the buildings. But that's pretty much it actually for the mind piece of it. Like I said, they're now smaller. But pro hopefully more frequent. So we'll have these other videos more frequently. Like we said, we have Perona here. Which you put a lot of effort into. I mean, it's pretty cool uh, design and all the floating. He said the AI isn't the best, but it's good as uh, she's friendly towards the players so she won't kill you on site and we'll test that right now yep see she's okay towards us if you spawn a marine she'll probably try to kill him oh she's friendly towards everyone you can see the amount of damage it can do she's also friendly towards mihawk because you know it's mihawk after all I think Zoro, she's friendly towards Zoro as well, but Mihawk isn't, so they'll end up fighting with, you know, with just Perona watching. But that pretty much is the end of this update video. We got a bit of JJK and a very, very small bit of Mind Piece. This will be the format we'll do later on. Instead of two videos, we'll have one video covering both of them, since there'll be smaller updates, unless Orkasan changes stuff. But if you do like this format, do leave a like and subscribe, tell me in the comments. And another reminder, to join the discord if you want to chat play have some say in the videos as well you know stuff like that just a sense of community you know we'll leave it there we'll be back soon with a new video hopefully by the end of the week if i'm feeling better there is i am also working on a couple more video but i'll leave that info in the discord so I'll see you guys there but thanks for watching see you very soon